Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this session today, I'm gonna show you how to create repetitive text automatically. So what do you mean by a repetitive text? All right, so I have an example of a sub subcontract uh, form. Uh, I think this is the simplest one. It doesn't serve any purpose, but to show the uh, for this example, this is more than enough. So in a typical form, you will have to fill multiple times the same content. Say for example, uh, name of the client, name of a client, you may have to fill at different places, different pages. So how do you automatically manage that? I will, I'm gonna show you that, how to you know, key in the repeated text automatically. Uh, in this particular case, uh, each of these values are repeated three times. So one here and one here and one here, right? Again, the date to take an example. Uh, date is, okay, it's repeated only twice here and here, right? Okay, then I'm just take. All right. Okay, uh, let's see how to do that. So there are two parts here. First one is to create uh, invisible bookmarks. Okay, and the second one is to uh, reference those invisible bookmarks wherever required. All right, first I'm gonna create invisible bookmarks. Okay, so in this document uh, to explain you clearly i'm going to keep some placeholders okay um bookmarks bookmarks one three and four so each of these values will be holding a bookmark value here. All right, so this is a placeholder. Now I'm gonna insert uh, bookmarks for each of these placeholders. Okay, uh, I'm gonna name them the name, right? Principal so that it's easy to remember. Okay, remember it has to be a name, not a location. Okay, and then contractor. So empty. I'll just keep four letters. And then value. I'll say well, it's enough. I think three letters. The date. So I have created four books. Uh, those are like invisible. You can uh, keep whatever you want in your actual document. So the first step I have done and the second step is to reference these bookmarks. Uh, yeah, there's one more step you have to do. That's nothing but giving a value to the to these bookmarks. Just again, I got past. All right, I'm using 2016 MS Office, so it should be under Insert menu. All right, so now I'm gonna insert a reference, I mean, ask a quick part that will take the values from a user and then places, I mean, assigns to the bookmarks. All right, so let's see how it is. Field, select ask here, enter the prompt. What is the prompt? Okay, I'm gonna select uh, enter name. So what will be the bookmark? Name, it's me. Okay, I'm leaving this as is. You can explore if you want. 
Okay. Um, okay. First one I have done. Second, ask. Enter contractor name. This is Scott. Okay, this is, uh, I mean, you can ignore this for now. So as soon as you create a ask a quick field, I mean, this quick part, it will ask you for the value, all right? So you can ignore this for now. Okay, the third one is uh, value. Last one. Date, right? Yeah. Right. All right. So now I have completed the second step. Uh, probably. Make a note of it. First step is to create bookmarks. Okay. Second is to uh, read about the from for pass till So these steps I have completed. First step is to reference the bookmark value wherever required. I'm going to explain now this. So these two I have completed. This I will explain now. Before that, uh, okay, yeah, we'll continue with that. So I'm going to insert a name of the client here using the already created bookmark. So for that, again, I have to go to quick parts, fields, and then formula. Here, edit the formula. Remove this type ref. Okay, ref is a quick part. This is again a field. All right. So ignore this. I can uh, format. I'm not going to do anything on that. So here you have to select the bookmark value. So I'm um, at this place, right? So this corresponds to the name of the client. So I'm going to select name. Okay, see, so initially when I created the bookmark and added a ask field, I had entered the value. So it is holding the first value, first bookmark is holding this value, but it's invisible. All right, so similarly, I'm gonna do same thing for subcontractor. Get the formula. You can just type the value if you remember, but to be safe, I'm gonna use this drop down. So this is contractor is, yes. and then something else okay but the last one is dead so now i have completed the third step 
but I have to repeat this for remaining references. So whenever I'm referring these items, I have to repeat this step. So now, okay, uh, here after this, right? So same thing again. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this. the agreement between the client and the contractor. So this is a contractor reference. Okay. On this date, Okay, and the last item is the value of the contract. Okay, so I have done the second. Oh, sorry. Okay, I have repeated for the second time. So third time I need to repeat but this time only two fields. I mean two columns or two rows. That's contractor and a client. So I will keep this party one as client and party two as a contractor. Again. Okay. Right. So I have completed it. Okay. The so I have created a document with keep with references. I mean. Uh, automation of repeated text using quick parts right and a quick part it's called fields okay now how do you so suppose you have you have to enter a new value all right so you have to enter a new value right so what you're going to do is control a and then right click update so now the word will ask you to enter all the values again. That means if you want to change, say for example, you have to generate a new document, so you will be entering new values, right? So you have to enter new values. So I'm going to enter something X, Y, Z, R. Rosie is a client, and who is the contractor? New. Okay, value, I'm going to say $50,000. Date, I'm going to keep it as 50. Okay. Yeah. Party one is Rosie, and uh, okay, what is this? Oh, okay, that's, there was one more. I just get rid of this. Okay, guys, so this is how you create a repeated text in MS Word. So in this particular case, I had very few items, so this is easy. But if you have a actual you know, agreement, this is one of the examples I have downloaded from internet. Definitely a lot of things to fill. So that way, these things will be very helpful. All right, thank you, guys. Do check out my YouTube channel for other useful automation videos, office automation videos. If you have any suggestions or any concerns with automations, 
please do let me know thanks thanks for watching